Okay, I'm Gabriella Twistmeyer from Germany, up in the north. Very cold and rainy and windy. Okay. And what I'll do is, I'll, I'll be here so you can just ignore the camera. Mm -hmm. Just speak to me, mm -hmm. have a conversation with me. I know you just did it, but I'm going to ask you to say your name, where you're from, and what you do. Mm -hmm. Okay, my name is Gabriela Twistmeyer. I'm from Germany, on vacation here, doing a round trip. We started in Orlando, and now we do a round trip in Texas. And my profession is I'm a teacher in Germany. And what made you come to this spot? Yeah, um, my husband and I are always very uh, interested in JFK, and we tried to find out all about him in the US and so we we did a trip to Boston to see his birthplace and to Nantucket where he was vacationing and now we have to see the end of all. Mm -hmm. And so what do you what did you feel when you looked at this place? Yeah, at that moment I can't feel enough because it's so crowdy, you know. I can't imagine that someone so famous has died around here. And I think I have to see the museum first to, to get inside my heart again. Can you uh, tell me what you remember of that time? First, can you, before Kennedy was shot? Um, you know, I was 11 years old and I was at junior college. And um, yeah, everybody talked about him. He was very famous in Germany, and we all know that he liked German, German people and German tradition. And um, you know, he said this famous sentence, I am a Berliner, ich bin ein Berliner. And uh, that runs into all hearts, all German hearts. And then that was this day in 1963. When I came to school, I started school, and suddenly, I saw people crying, um, girls and boys in, in my age, and I didn't know what happened. And I, they told me that uh, Kennedy was shot. And uh, you know, not everybody had a television at that time. So, so we listened to the radio quite often and uh, read magazines and had to know it's true. First, it was like we couldn't believe it. You know, like a bad dream, but uh, it happened. Um, so, looking back at it now, what do you think of Kennedy? What, what does he make you think of? Yeah. Hmm. That's that's difficult. You know. Um, after him, there was Lyndon B. Johnson and uh, Vietnam, and so he's. Um, more a patriot for me than uh, other pre presidents. And, um, you know, we, we hear a lot about his poor family and what happens to his family last to his son. And uh, so um, in Germany, he's, he's famous, but you don't remember like Lyndon B. Johnson, Vietnam or George Bush now, you know, Iraq. And that's not, he always is, in, in my eyes, he's always patriot. He liked people, he accepted Min's um, opinion, yeah, and different opinions to his opinion. You know, Lindby Johnson only has his own opinion. He looks in one way. And uh, I think that uh, JFK tried to see around him. Yeah, he noticed Europe, and he noticed Asia. He noticed all the countries in the world, yeah, and not only one way. Um, I've heard that that phrase, the "Ich bin ein Berliner," is not hmm? really correct German. It's not really the correct way. To it's say correct. It. Ich bin ein Berliner. That's how you say it. Yeah, say. but you know, Ber Berliner is a person who lived in Berlin, it's our capital town now, but it's always a cake, a special cake in Germany. So it's a little bit, a little joke inside this phrase. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so you're from Germany, mm -hmm. and you're 
So you're going to the museum? Today. Of course, yeah. Did you go over to the memorial? Uh, we go to the memorial, of course. <laughs> what did you think of that? Uh, I only seen a picture, bef uh, but I think it's uh, very modern, very uh, unusual style to see him. Uh, we've seen the Vietnam Memorial in Washington, and uh, it remembers me a little bit to that. It's a little bit cold for me, but um, but I think it's. Uh, it's a way to, to, to get into this memorial, you know, to, to get the thoughts into the memorial. Then it's not so modern or so, so, uh, so cold anymore. You had to get used to it. Do you plan on going to the conspiracy museum? Do we have that too? No. 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 <laughs> There's a conspiracy museum over there if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but what do you think? Is he really shot? Has he been shot by, at the sixth floor, by this crazy man? What do you think? I think, yeah. You know, I'm always so, um, so dizzy, dizzy about that, because um, this man was shot so shortly after that. So, so um, I don't know what's behind, what was behind this, uh, Death of JFK. Who do you think might be behind it? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. But you feel like somebody else? Somebody else, yeah. I think he's in front he was in front line, but there was someone behind him. Did you see uh, the Oliver Stone movie? JFK? Yeah, of course. What did you think of that? Mm. It's Hollywood, you know, but um, it brings the, it, or it brought it to me because I told you we, we hadn't television at that time when he was shot and now I got the pictures into my mind. I heard about it, I read about it and the film uh, gives me the pictures to my mind. So it wasn't so bad for me, but I have to I know that there's a difference between Hollywood and, and the right way, or the, the right way to live, the true way to live. Um, what do you think the world, did I ask what you thought the world would be like if Kennedy had not been shot? If he had been? I think there was no Vietnam War. I think there was no Vietnam War. and. That's a, you know, when we were 16, 18, a lot of soldiers came over to Germany and stayed there. And I met a soldier, 18 years old, when I was dancing, and he has to go to Vietnam. And um, then I got interested into the war. It's far away, but when you know someone who has to go there, it's nearer, it's closer. Um, and. Um, I know so many people has to die, and um, I think he had to know other ways to handle this. What kind of dancing were you doing? Dancing? Um, oh, it's like a, like a big discotheque. There was a band playing, a live band, till 3 o'clock in the morning every Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, Saturday and Sunday. I think so, yeah. Why? You know, I was 11 years old and I, I come now. Oh, she's 100. I feel, sometimes I feel like 100, but <laughs> today I'm not 100. <laughs> um, why? Yeah, Kennedy was so young when he died and he looked so great and, you know, women like good looking men and uh, I, I think he's, he's, he was, he was cute and, uh, was heißt mutig noch? Oh, that, I've lost the word. He, he doesn't know too. 
uh, yeah, he, he has all ought to be the, the statesman for me and other people. I can't, I can't speak for the German people. So in 50 years, in 100 years, uh, all the people will come to, to this place to see where he was shot. Um, no, no. Go look at the statue. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Strange feeling. Uh, hmm? Is there uh, is there anything I neglected to ask you that you'd like to say? Anything that you can think of that I've missed? No. Say about this place, about America, about anything? About anything, yeah, no. Uh, since 12 years, we come every year, once or twice, because we, we love the American way of life. You know, it's uh, not so. Was schnell easy to travel. Easy to travel, easy to live, easy to buy, easy to speak to people easy to get closer to people, easy to meet people, easy to spend money. <laughs> what my husband doesn't like. <laughs> so now, what, what do you have to do with all these answers you, you get? Well, I have to go through and type out everything. Yeah. So I can look at it on paper. Yeah. And then decide how they go together to tell the story. Mm -hmm. So I take a little piece of one person, a little piece of another, a little piece of another, and look for either people who are saying the same things mm -hmm. or saying different things and tell the story of how people think. And uh, the background is a museum, or or not? It's um, this place is a museum. Uh, no, no, the, your background to, to do your, um, your work. Um, uh, because you asked me if the if people will come 50 or in 100 years. Now, my thought was, uh, do they want to know if the museum will still exist in, in about 50 years or more? Well, they've asked me that, yeah. but, but I have nothing to do with that. You, you have nothing to do with it. No, they only give you the room to do it. Yeah, I'm just in graduate school. Yeah. They were nice enough to let me use the room. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Now I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> let me get that.